Uh, oh, uh, hey, it does it live now. Awesome. Mm. Oh, I love your new emblem. That's Thank great. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> yes, love it. Thank you. Hold on, let me bring it up on other thing. Let me just see if that um, starts. You can hear our voices through it. Perfect. I can hear our voices through it. Uh, it's working. All right, I'll do the thing in that case. Um, Right, and if we don't have time to finish up, do if, if like the execution stuff is really quickly, we can just you know, turn it into a general Q and A or talk about some. Well, I was thinking yeah. um, we can do yeah. executions, and that's not gonna take more than like half an hour, and then after that we uh, we can do shug, I guess, or yeah. backwards, whichever way you want. Uh, let's start off with executions and see how it goes, and then. Um... Okay. Well, I don't actually know which executions are keep you unlocked or locked on, so you're gonna have to take the lead in that one. It's all right. That's cool. I've got some things that I can. I've got some things to plan to talk about. So, that. Yeah, you're gonna need to update the title, I think. Yeah. Oh wait, I can. There you go. Cool. Should I stream to Discord as well? I should, right? Uh, do you think your PC can handle it? My PC can handle it, yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right. No, I don't think his PC can handle it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. I was going to say we are doing technical interview. Um... Hold on, I do need to do this stuff. Let me know if you can see the Discord stream better. Yeah, looking good. Good. Perfect. All right, let me just um, open up. I'm not sure if I'm not watching the account. Okay. Yeah. Wait, are my settings on like Mega Ultra? Mega Ultra. All right, ping, ping is going out, long, ping pong, um, okay, now change the titles, the command for what again, right, um, I'll just call it the executions now, um, yeah, and then we can change it to Goki if we go up, move on to Goki, um, Wow. Uh, that's that's a terrible title. Um There you go. We'll go with that title. What the heck? Hey ha. Um yeah, that should be good. Yes, fine one. Um turn on. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I think we'll end up going to a um just make sure I've got this muted, so I'll need to pop Perfect type of character with specific executions. Yeah, I did actually a few tests on some of these just earlier, so I got some which I know are in lock and which are out of lock, so I can do that. Um, get the spreadsheet open as well, so I've got that. Oh. 
read out information from a spreadsheet. Like, you know, the absolute pro that I am. Yes. Hello. Although, to myself, I want to say hello to her before I... Ooh, I'm thinking what character. I mean, I guess I could do, like, Warbird. Yeah. That's cool. It's very so. Uh, it might not, be, might not be a super long one, with being said. I have, I think I have, uh, like, one of each for Warlord. I have, uh, third one long one, you know? Awesome. Yeah. So, um, I guess we'll probably want another, somebody else with us as well to demonstrate the hour block stuff. Anyone who wants to join us Maybe we can in... Maybe those. Game. <laughs> I've already moved it up. Hell yeah. yeah. Prediction gaming then. So we can wait a few minutes because there's pro um until people are ready, you know, watching the stream and so on and joining others. Hello. Hello, how's hey, it going? Stag. Oh how's Doug? How are you doing? Feeling alright? Just sad. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm... I got my vaccine today, my second one, and my, it's been rough. Well, then, not today, oh, yesterday. Well, but I've, had, I've had some rough, rough time today. Pardon me? I'm glad your immune system is working. <laughs> yes, that is good. Hmm. Well, I'll be staying on the stream for a bit. Well, uh, keep watching that, but I'm not going to be in VC for long. Yeah, no worries. Um, I think Radio is going to come and help us with demonstrating executions and stuff. Um, got a few little tips and tricks to talk about, um, as well good. as like you know the obvious type things. Well, I say obvious yeah. type things and kind of things which are um, ah. Yeah, well, get what I'm saying. Um, we'll mm -hmm. see, we'll see. Yeah, I'll be sticking on the stream. Yeah. Uh, what do I put us into? 2 2 4 3 4? Uh, probably whichever one gets respawned fastest. So, yes. like a Dominion four, four, yeah. with fast respawns on. Um, see you later. Good no, let us stay. Thanks for coming by. See, feeds fast. Put damage on lethal just. Four. <laughs> uh, you can if you want to. Um, probably easiest to go with normal though. Just don't yeah. say. How am I supposed to show the outer block stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah, yeah. Outer block stuff is <laughs> leave. You're know? <laughs> yes, right. You're right. I'm dumb. Okay. Good thinking. Uh, we'll do harbor because faster rotations. Mm -hmm. In game music, I haven't listened to this in so long. I can't not have the in-game music playing. I have, if I have background music, my like reactions go from dog shit to just like fossilized dog shit. Bad. Yeah. I, I can't not have my own music. I like get bored instantly. Well, what we'll do is um, for now we'll go because you're going to be the one executing normally for now. Yeah. Makes sense, right? So I'll go on them. Um, I'll go this this team. So I'll, do, pick. I'll just pick the wrong. Just gonna go TND on account of what what, this, what these feats, because that will be make it much harder to actually do this stuff. But... Okay, so um, there's a bunch of stuff going on in the background, so I'll try and uh, actually, you know, what, I'll put my headphones on, and I'll be like, easy as easy distracted on the cans. All right, talk to me. Can I hear? Can I hear you? Yes, you're very close to my ears now. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I moved my mic. Uh, well, you know, I put my headphones on, so. Oh, on, I actually can... need to turn it down a bit. That was. Oh, it, got, damn. it got intense. Hold on. Okay. Intense. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Holy shit! It's so intense. Okay. Speak. Yeah. Normally, my mic sits on my desk, and now I've just picked up my headset. So. Um... Right, I'm going to see. I guess. All right, yeah. Let's see, here we go. Okay. So I guess the first thing to talk about is 
when do you want to be executing? Um, so when you're playing like in a competitive match normally, what do you when what opportunity do you look for for an execution? Well, really, most executions you're gonna get are just gonna be when it's completely safe around. So like. Uh ganking somebody on a point and you manage to kill them get the egg the or one v one uh that those are like the two most common uh times you're actually gonna be able to execute without getting like sixty damage yeah so that's like the the most common there's also uh trying to get an execution off in the middle of a team fight for uh, h p which is a bit more tricky, but we'll see about that as well yeah so how um often do you attempt to go for executions in the middle of team fights uh, i mean it depends it depends on what's happening in the team fight uh if i'm one hp and i manage to get an exe obviously i'm gonna try to get the hp so i don't die from one hit if i'm full hp and kill a guy i'm not gonna care to execute because i'm i'd be better off helping my teammates uh if and say if we're outnumbered i'm not gonna execute if uh, they are outnumbered, then I can take the time to execute if I want to. Maybe the execution is going to put them, uh, it's going to take them out of the game because they start breaking or something of the sort. So it, it really is very situational. Yeah. But okay, um, so yeah, go on. No, no, you you, you carry on saying. I'll, I'll just I'll just like Probably, bump people topic topic. <laughs> there's uh, there's three different um. Uh, I'll even say this. Uh, executions can give three amounts of health. Uh, 50, 35, and 25, I think. Uh, 20. 20. Oh, yes. That's even worse. All right. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, the longer uh, the execution, the more HP. Uh, there are... The most optimal ones are usually shortest for 50 HP and uh, longest execution in the game, which I think is actually something from an event. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the event ones are the longest ones. I think the longest one is the Halloween event. Yeah, the Samurai one. Samurai one. But yeah, it's a good point to talk about um like execution amounts. So we can I'll just hit you a few times so you're on low health. You can see how much you heal. Um So an important thing to remember when executing somebody is that the heal amount is not at the end of the execution. It's a when you have a particular what we call the kill time in the execution. So you can go ahead and kill me and execute me. So you can see that his health went there, but uh, now he's only now is normally um, freeze to be able to get out of the execution. Yeah. So, so a, a lot of what's important when you're executing is not just how long the overall health, is, the overall execution is, but how long it takes to um, to to kill the person and get that the point you get the health back and the point they cannot be revived anymore. And that is doesn't necessarily correlate. To the overall amount of time the, the heal amount is based on the overall amount of time whereas you know you can get executions which kill them very quickly and but are still longer than a certain amount of time and let and give you 50 health so the cutoff time for most executions is if it's longer than if it's less than three if it's less than four seconds it's 20 health if it's uh less than five seconds it's 35 health and if it's longer than five seconds it is going to give you 50 health but of course you can have a execution that kills at five seconds 5.1 seconds and lasts 5.2 seconds and that's going to heal you 50 or you can have one that kills at 1.1 second and ends at 5.2 seconds and that's still going to heal you 50 but you will have your health a lot sooner which makes it a lot less risky for you to be interrupted well you can still be interrupted but it's not going to you're not going to usually take as much damage um, because you've healed something already. So that plays into it quite a lot. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't you say, Normie? Or... Yeah, well, it's... um That's... Uh, make it a bit more simple. is just there's kill time and there, there there's execution time. Kill time is HP, execution time is, well, the whole thing. Uh, and usually there are like, uh, for example, Kensei's most optimal execution is super long. And gives you 50, but the kill time is like 1.2 seconds. Yeah. Um, the one where you, they cut off uh, your arm. Yeah. And stuff like that. Warden's, uh, Warden has one. I don't know if radio. Do you have it equipped? Uh, 
Raider? Um, no, Radio. Oh, Radio. Um, Not that one, the the one that gives you 50. Probably it's called Blackstone Bash? Yeah, yeah, that one. If you have it here, do it on me. Yeah, that one right there, instant HP. And that's uh, like 50. So he should be full now. I can't see. Yeah, he's full now, yeah. Yeah, right, he's full. Uh, there are the longest ones that are like across like every character universe I think is the horn one uh, and the uh, bell yeah. the bell one's very long yeah a lot of the recent more recent ones are, are very long um, but of course and those ones they keep the opponent out for the out of the game for a very long time but then they're you're more vulnerable being interrupted the yeah. longer they are so you know you're not going to be able to pull off a super long execution on somebody in the middle of a team fight uh, it's just not going to happen so, uh, oh, I guess that's another time you can execute is when you've got revenge. Yes, yes, I forgot. I completely forgot about that. Uh, obviously, in revenge, you have super armor throughout your execution; you cannot be interrupted. Um, if you say pop bench and get an, a kill instantly, that's usually enough for you to execute and still be safe. Uh, obviously, fifty HP in anti gank situation is really useful. Uh, it's like old second wind, so. Sometimes it's good to do that, but also be careful not to do it like at the end of your revenge because you are going to eat a lot of damage. Yeah, come on, let's um, let's let's do some demonstrations of, of times that is good come to down. give ex. Uh, yeah, come down here, turtle. So radio, and we'll we'll have a, we'll show some times where it's good to execute or not. So let's put let's put really low first. Yeah, all right, hit me. Alright, let's fine. give you range as well. There we go. And, right. uh, I mean, let me get you low. Get you like that. If I pop bench and instantly do an exit right here, he's not going to be able to do anything about it. I got my HP. And I'm back. And I can defend myself. And I didn't actually take any damage. It was just my revenge. Yeah. Shield. Uh, now we're going to show with uh, with a longer XZ, or uh, doing it towards uh, the end of my revenge. You see what can happen is if um, you don't calculate it properly. Yeah, go on, hit me a um, few times you can execute me. Yeah. Warden's got more damaging heavies after all. Okay, feed me. Let's get low, lower health. Um, yeah, just... Alright, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. That's fine, yeah. So if, if I pop bench here, and I'm um, anti ganking whatever, it's going down, I get my kill here, and I do a long XZ, um, I just get killed there. Yeah. You've also got to be careful that, that you can, in the wrong situation, end up taking more damage than the overall amount from your revenge shields and the health you would gain from it as well, if it's a very long one. Yeah. And bear in mind the characters you're facing against. I, I, an example of a character that you could really get deleted by is Aramusha, for example. And uh, I've had this with Hitakiri's, Hitakiri's Tier 1 feat, where I've popped, I've got an execution on somebody and Aramusha's come around the corner and just spammed heavies at me. And because I've not had Bloodlust up, they've just been able to sort of kill me through my shield, through the amount of health that I was receiving, while I've got super armor on, armor on from the t hit tier one feet, and to just get killed, which is frankly kind of hilarious. Um, seeing yourself, it happened to me the other day. I could, I, I mean, if you want to, we can we can switch characters, I can show you it because it is actually really funny. Um, I mean, it's uh, it's yeah. not gonna happen that often, it's like a rare no, thing, but it does happen, it's mind, a thing yeah. that can happen, so yeah, I'd be careful for those, something like that. Um what about, yeah, so about situations where you want to know, oh, oh yeah, think, uh, recommendation across all characters, all characters that you play, try to build muscle memory for uh, the quickest execution and your binds, for example, uh, me personally, I always have uh, my, the quickest execution on E and the longest one on Q so that I don't have to uh, worry about, you know, the one where I have to hold E or hold Q. 
Yeah, that's the same thing. I go with a super fast, the fastest kill, either and normally the fastest killing one or the fastest overall um, on like X for me, I guess. And then the the one that gives 50 health health is most optimal on Y if it's a different one. And then if I have a really long execution, I use that on hold Y. Um, but that's like, that's the standard I have for all the characters. So I don't. Yeah. So and I... It, I do occasionally mess up if I have one like playing with a loadout where I haven't sorted that out and I do the wrong execution and you just eat yeah. shit for it. In an actual situation where you would need your, uh, you need to know your executions. Uh, if I have them switched around for one hero, I do it by accident and I lose the team fight, lose the game for it. It, it can be pretty bad. Yeah, I've definitely seen. Uh, I've seen examples of that in in. <laughs> In Dom series matches, actually, I remember seeing uh, a Shigoki attempting to do a, a like the shame execution with the bell and just eating two heavies in the last fight of a game and dying, <laughs> even when they were like really close to breaking. So it wasn't wasn't ideal. Um, yeah, especially when you have a fast execution, and most characters do have a execution which is either fast overall or kills really quickly and is far quite fast. So um, you know, Warmonger doesn't have a unique execution that's that's faster than five seconds, but her, it, the one she has, will kill the opponent at less than two seconds. So it's still useful to use in a situation like in a team fight situation sometimes because you get the health really quickly. Um, I guess as so, those are the two main stats you want to be looking at in an execution: the overall time and the kill time, and I guess the the health reflects the overall time but there are a few other stats which are quite important and you probably have one equipped um normally what you should do if uh that demonstrates one of these which have you got um can't touch this equipped oh uh, no i don't i don't even have that <laughs> oh, okay all right well we can switch characters over and i'll go to and um i'll bring in a i'll bring in a different character i know has got an uh, execution that fits on that like that um i'll bring in uh do we do you have veni vidi vici on centurion uh no i i mean I oh it's okay you've got um one of you have black prior right <laughs> so black prior's one works this way okay i'll go so Ara, I'll, go... I'll go Ara and he can go uh bp because he's a big bp player all right i will go Lawbringer because then this is i know this has got the execution that i'm talking about just the default execution on on Black Prior is actually is actually enough to demonstrate this. Um, the although, normal quick one, the slice arm slicer. I think. Yeah, yeah. Although actually, I'm thinking about it, it'd be harder to see on the for the opponent because you'll be. Well, you'll be able to see it. Uh, it'll be just you can have to look at the timers. Um, so it's a little bit more confusing, I guess. But it'll be fine. So there are two other kinds of executions. Um, that sometimes you'll go if you see in the info hub, and this is where you want to be. Uh, this where if you don't know the stats or executions, because obviously it doesn't tell you in game, go to the info hub. Each character will have all their executions listed on their page, and there's also a one a page at the back which has got every execution in the game listed. So I spent quite a lot of time formatting that and measuring a bunch of them as well. So that's the place you want to go if you want to find out which execution you should buy, which area. You've... I've also got like a star rating for them so if, if they're a good execution they have three stars and if they're they're bad they've only got one star essentially um so we'll show off the first execution i, th I think i've got it on x for this character um which is which is different yes down right there is super you can see I Very long, but I have become free to walk around, and only now is this timer started. So this is an example of an execution which you can cancel, and there are a few of these, but not every character has them. Lawbringer, this one, it's called an um, Oh Come On, is probably the best example of it. Um, yes. But Shaman has one like that, and uh, there are a few others. They're they're normally listed with two values in the um, in the menu, so I can show you again. This is what it looks like if I don't cancel it. I think it's uh, his 
I don't remember. Uh, it's one it's... of his longest. If you oh let yeah, it play out. if you let it go out, it's about nine and a half seconds long. Yeah. But if you cancel it early, it's four and a half seconds, and gives you fifty health anyway. And it and it kills quite quickly, as you can see. So this is one of his best executions because basically. Obviously, when you execute somebody, it adds three seconds to their respawn. But if you have an execution like this, where you can move around before they start to respawn, their timer starts, then essentially you're getting even more time of them out of the match, where you're not out of the match doing the execution. So it's really valuable. Um, and you'll see those are these are when there's two values separated by a slash. That's when you can cancel them early. Um, I can bring up the list and look at some different ones. But whilst you're doing that, you should be being executed by Black Prior's default execution. Come here. Right Whilst I'm trying to this list. So this is BP's best one. It's uh, 35, actually, from what I remember. Yeah, it's 35. Yeah, default 35. Health gets... Uh, you receive the health when you cut off the arm. It's like 1.1 actually, or 1.2? It's or? one second. It's the fastest execution oh. in the game. Um, but as you can see... If you look closely at the at when you can move around, um, you know, Lawbringers, uh, yeah, okay, it's, it's definitely it's, they're separated by a slash. Oh, apparently, Lawbringers got another execution where you can cancel early, um, which is called Knock Knock. That also you can cancel early as well. Um, but as you can see from Black Prior, there he uh, he could move around a little bit before the 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 timer started on. Um, normie's respawn timer and that it can't be cancelled early but it has a different time for the opponent being executed as it does the black prior and i think the overall time for black prior is five seconds so it's just like a fraction of a second shorter than it needed to be to get 50 health imagine how good it would be if it's 50 health right yeah. but it keeps the opponent from respawning for almost seven seconds so a lot more characters have executions like this where they are have two va different values, one d value different for the opponent versus uh, the, the 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 person using the execution. And so Black Prior has one, Centurion has one, Veni Vidivici has quite a big difference. I think Aramusha actually has one as well. If you have bare hand beat no, down, I don't. do you have Think Fast? I don't. <laughs> How are do you, you have Dragon? I do do you have I'm Dragon gonna... Palm Strike? I do. I just don't know what is uh, bound to. So. Okay, well, you can do it on me. And funny, funny thing is, Dragon Palm Strike is actually the, the example of the the opposite kind. So, it's a small oh, difference. There it, there it is. Nice one. So right here. Right, so oh, look, yeah. look at when my timer starts for respawning. Now. Now, okay. Oh, actually, that's that's not different. Um, you could run around from it. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like half a second, um, sooner. Although that seems better than what i remembered it being maybe they've changed it oh, yeah, sometimes these long. things sometimes these things change and it's hard to tell um like because I, there's one that he has where the opponent actually starts respawning before he can move yeah um i think that might be it's i that might be think fast in that case yeah i think it's that one uh I mean, uh, hmm. for try the, not try not moving around and see if it has if dragon pop maybe dragon palm strike has literally two different like we're making discoveries today as well um maybe you can cancel it early oh well, i can move around now okay no in that case it's something's changed with it and i um need to update that the that um <laughs> i know that, that one is up. really good for keeping somebody yeah. out for a really long time I think it might be think fast in that case that has two different durations for that's actually like worse for you as an Aramusha executing and it keeps them it lets them respawn before you finished the animation of the the execution yourself. So their respawn time is that's the opposite case. But these are you'll see these ones are when they're um in brackets in the info hub and there are more of them than you I guess another really good example is Nusha's short rest, the one she sits on you. Um, that one is only four and a half seconds, basically, for her, but it's eight and a half seconds for the opponent, so it's almost twice as long again. Um, so these ones are sometimes, they're even more worthwhile using because they keep the opponent out of the game for 
much longer than you would be able to um, otherwise. God, I'm super hungry now. <laughs> no, I'm not. Gonzo's eating her dinner in the background. Well, I can um... smell it. I'm getting super hungry. <laughs> okay, so that's in terms of timing. Um, that's something else to look for in executions. And these are these are represented in like the little stars that I have in the ratings thing. And the ones that have these special properties are normally rated slightly higher because obviously you have like slightly better things you can do with them. Um, the other thing which is an important stat for executions is whether or not it keeps you in lock or not. And this is quite a complex one to explain. So, um, Normie, can you go... Oh, I'm trying to find an exact one where you've got... You've got a, a character which has a event execution on them, right? Uh, yeah. Good. Think. And one where they've got one of the default executions. Whoa. Like... Um... Like Gladiator, maybe? I think I have... Uh, I think I have an event exe on Warlord. Alright, well... Don't know what I don't know what you're trying to Yeah, make. let's go for it in that case. Well, um, the problem is Warlord's only execution that stays in lock is Head Scissor, which is obviously quite a short one. So, um... I mean, that we can still show that, right? Oh, yeah. Or we you could do it the other round. Let's, let's do it the other round. We'll switch so that I'm the one executing and then... Normie, you're the one uh, hitting me with the out of lock punish. It's easy enough. Okay. All right. So you go. You just go shaman, and I will go a character. I tested these on earlier today, which is Tiandi. So I'm going shaman, right? Yeah, you go shaman, and it doesn't matter what radio goes because radio is going to be getting dead. So yeah, you go on and Normie's team. Perfect. Okay, so um, most of you, I, well, I guess we'll we'll just um, go with that first because obviously this is an important important information um, to this plays in line two. Why is it important to if an execution keeps you in lock or not? Well, when you're um, out of lock, when you're not locked onto an opponent, you have are open to being staggered for different amounts of time. And that can sometimes confirm extra damage on you um, compared to if you'd just been hit by the attack normally. So Shaman is a very good example of this because she has very strong out of lock punishes. Um, it also gets worse if you're out of stamina as well. So you have to, both of those things are important to bear in mind. And you can get punished even harder for if basically almost every character gets two heavies on somebody who's out of lock and out of stamina. So if you execute somebody when you're out of stamina with one of these executions that puts you out of lock, you're going to eat a lot of damage. So first off, I guess, you know, uh, normally throw a regular heavy at me and then do your regular heavy and I can block it. Uh, wait, what do you want me to do? Just a dodge attack and then dodge attack and then do a regular heavy on me. I can block it quite easily. Now I'll get myself out of lock. Do the same thing again. Cannot block that. This is because Shaman's dodge attacks have heavy hits done, and they guarantee the chain attack, the, the uncharged chain hit, like the un the not the um, regular blockable yes. chain heavy, um, not the unblockable one. So, why is this important? Well, some executions can force you out of lock, even if you've got all the settings set, so you never leave lock. So if you if you're in your like um, you can open up your menu first, Normie, whilst she's saying this. You want to navigate to options, uh, controls, and then the exit guard mode rule little tab there. So let me know when you're on that. I'm there, I'm there. Okay, so the best one you want to do for this is never, because as you, you can know, being out of lock is super punishing. And if you put yourself to, let's say, target death, then then you'll go out of lock every time you kill anybody you're locked onto, which can leave you out of lock in a team fight, and you're going to eat multiple attacks because of extra hit stun. So you don't want that. And the best one to go for is never remain in guard mode when target dies. And this way, you will never unlock unless you press the unlock button, even if your opponent's dead or yeah, whatever. I'll show it. Uh, except my HUD's gone. Sick. Amazing. Okay, let's back. 
Yeah. You're right. If I execute it right now. Okay, sure. I have it on never, so I'll execute and I should still be locked on afterwards. You'll probably lock automatically onto um Yeah, there you go. Yeah, still there you go. Without pressing anything. So that is obviously beneficial because you want you don't want to be caught out of lock. But some executions, even though you've got that setting on, will put you out of lock anyway. So most and the, the general rule is most executions released after marching fire, so in the last like roughly two years, will put you out of lock. And that includes like all the event executions and things. So um you've seen what the out of lock punish is for shaman. So we'll do we'll show now what it's like. The, the, the example of two different executions, both of which are quite long, but have different out of lock states. So this is my like longest candy execution. Feel free to interrupt me now if you want to. Oh, I literally didn't well, see that because the camera moved down. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, I could okay, have blocked nice. that one. Um, yeah. I'll use a different one, which is uh, doesn't see my camera background. There we go. So, blockable. But if I do uh, a different execution, which is like a long out of um, a long event execution. As you can see, my guard didn't come back. I could not block that, so I took extra damage from that. And this is something that a lot of executions have, especially the recent ones will force you out of lock. Some characters don't have any executions which won't put you out of lock, which is obviously a bad thing, Especially, and most of the newer characters have that. Um, you, in general, if you can avoid them, go for executions which keep you in lock, um, because otherwise... Oh, just kill me, because I'm getting distracted by, yeah, <laughs> by rally getting call, getting <laughs> which I only have open to test it. You know, every now and again, you need to test it to see if it's, if it's fixed. It's not. Um, but yeah, so um, again, this is the tab in uh, the column in the info hub, which has stays in lock, question mark. And if it's got a tick, it keeps you in lock. If it says no, then that's going to put you out of lock, regardless of what settings you have and you will take more damage from being interrupted by it. This is important to remember, especially when you're looking at executions that kill quickly, but heal you a significant amount of health, because you're looking at how much damage will you likely to take if you're if you're doing an execution in the middle of a team fight, and let's say you want to use Black Prior's one that heals 35 health, and it's a very quick one, or Warmonger's one that heals 50 health, and is also quite quick. You know you're probably not going to be interrupted before you get the health off. So you know you're going to heal 50, right? But your calculation is how much damage will you take because of being hit? Um, is it going to be more than 50 or less than 50? If it's obviously more than 50, you've not made any health up and you actually you wouldn't, shouldn't have bothered executing to start off with. Well, that a big factor of that is does your execution keep you in lock or not? So the one I did before, the Typhoon Punishment, it's 50 health execution. I could block immediately afterwards. It means I'm only going to eat one heavy from from the shaman around me. So to it doesn't matter. To replicate that here, it's equal to this. So if if you do two heavies on me right now, that's the same with the, the ones that keep you in lock. And do two again. Oh, well, I think... Uh, does it have medium this time? Oh, yeah. Tiendis doesn't... Um, if you uh, uh, Tiendi's out of lock punishes his zone attack. Oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah. I'll let you. I'll let you heal no, up. No, no. And then, um... Do it. I'll just find it for All right. Okay. So zone attack. I can't block, block that. that. Yeah. Obviously, normally you can block it. So. Um... Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, replicate uh, replicating the executions in lock and outer lock. Yeah. And so, like, if you have a 50 health execution that you go, okay, great, it's going to heal me in one second, I'm going to get 50 health. But it puts you out of lock, and you're going to eat heavy from an opponent and another heavy from their ally, or two heavies from the same guy that's more than 50. Out of lock punishes tend to be roughly 50 death health, and some can be even more than that. So, you only got to be very careful doing that. Um, especially, like I said, if we are out of stamina and out of lock. Um, we'll do the same thing, actually. Normally if, if, normally, if you put yourself out of stamina and then go out of lock. 
You saw beforehand you could block the second heavy. I locked on, I locked on. <laughs> uh, it's okay. There, I couldn't. There we go. You can't block You can't um, block that one because it's just when you're out of stamina, the hit stun is even longer than just when you're out of, when you're in, out of lock, but when you have stamina. So, especially people want sometimes execute when they are trying to get the stamina back. Just You just, like, you want to really avoid doing that with an execution that puts you out of lock. Yeah. Because... If you're well, yeah. out of stamina and they well, wanting to execute, it's always the best to just do the fastest one. Yeah. No question about it. Yeah, because you can also, of course, you can be guard broken out of executions. So, um, you know, I can do the same thing there, actually. I'll, I'll just put myself out of stamina and execute you with a... Oh, I'm an idiot. I mean, what, what are you trying to show? I was trying to put myself out of stamina and then execute him and let you th get a guard break, guaranteed guard break on me and throw oh, me one out of stamina. Yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Amazing. Right, let me just put myself out of stamina. Oh my god, I'm just... I'm doing it all wrong do today. Alright. All right. I get the pog execution on the out of stamina person. Oh no. Now nah, I'm on the floor. Now nah, I'm dead. So, yeah. Remember, when you're executing, you can be guard broken out of it. I don't think you can be guard broken out of a revenge execution, though, can you? You cannot, you cannot. In yeah, revenge, so... you are, like, completely safe. In revenge execution, nothing can uh, can kill you. Uh, other than, well, an insane amount of damage that kills you through your shield. Yeah. So, like, uh, you can actually survive catapults, so, like... If you're like a shinobi and you get catapulted while executing, then maybe you'll die. But uh, if you're a character with a respectable amount of health, you'll be fine. <laughs> and of course, it depends on how much health you've got um, from your, you know, before underneath your shield as well. Like, if you try and execute somebody at your one health, then that's only going to be a, you know, the, yeah. the 120 health shield worth of, of shield. I guess we'll so. also show... Um... How bad you can suffer for executing and then getting like blast or something. So, go and kill him real quick. It's like he's killing him. Whatever I come into the team fight, there's more of them around. I get free flask into like whatever really. If you time it, you can actually get a huge punish off of that because of the stagger from the flask. Pretty hard to time though. Um, yeah, and here I used an execution that kept me in lock then as well. Even though it's very long, that one actually keeps you in lock. Yeah, uh, so I only found out about that today. So there we go. So that's very new information that all our watchers, all our viewers, um, get it here fresh, as it were. So yeah. Um, um, other really tips. The, that's really the bread and butter of executions. There are like, uh, is there really like any exceptions worth mentioning? Um, oh wait, I mean there is one thing I want to talk about uh, as switch characters though. Um, yeah, there's, there's so a lot executions. Of uh, th this is also uh, on the um, info hub. Uh, different executions you'll see have an indicator of which direction direction they throw in. Um, oh yeah, this is which fun. I'll show this one with JJ. Uh, you can, for example, JJ has one keep your stance wide where you throw them forward, and um, with this, a lot of times it's happened where I've daggered uh, my teammate or someone with that and uh, messed up something. Uh, here, actually, come on my team. It should be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go cool character because I've got something else I want to show off after this. So there are the normal executions, which don't, uh, like, uh, I don't know, what a, an example, like, uh, usually the um, default executions don't really throw in any direction. Um, and then there's the ones like keep your stance wide, uh, the one, the word the optimal one, which uh, Dirt Flex showed, that one throws. Uh, Orochi has one with the kick. There's quite a few actually. But, yeah, so pretty um, much anything on the info hub that's listed as can ledge uh, with an arrow, those will throw an opponent yeah. in some direction. The arrow normally tries to indicate which direction they're going to be thrown. But yeah, the point is that if they can ledge, it also turns the opponent into a ragdoll, and the ragdolls have their own collisions, and they can drop people. There actually used to be a funny thing about this. Um, 
up until oh, I don't actually remember when they patched it, but uh, BP used to be able to flip yeah, those. You, yeah. So um, I, you would actually be able to like execute someone and throw them into your BP teammate, who would be able to flip the dead body for absolutely no reason, but. I mean, you could hit people around him with a bit being a flip. That's always fun. I guess. Um, right. So if I kill you here. Actually, you know what a really good place to kill me would be would be um, over here with. Um, Oh, you think, wait, radio standing behind me. Uh -oh. You can ledge teammates oh, with it. Okay. Yes, radio, if you stand behind me. Um, right. A lot, uh, actually, yeah, hold on. You probably want to be locked on. Yeah, so. I don't want to ledge you with the. Hold on, I'll do this. Okay. Uh, this. Well then. There we go. So, something to bear in mind. <laughs> Yeah, I learned that Tifo can also do that, by the way. And I think there's multiple clips of Daddy killing someone with Tifo teammates. Oh yeah, any um, feat that staggers people can also ledge your teammates. Um, yeah, which, which is, is uh... like bombs no, and it's so on. Heave ho. Yeah, oh heave ho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I thought you said I thought you said Jormungandr's tier four. So my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, but uh, that's a thing here. We'll show in normal um, without ledging. So. Hold on, sit still like that. It will stagger. Uh, think I don't know actually. If I throw you into another enemy, so into into one of your teammates, does that add a tag? It does add a tag. Yes, if I'm correctly. Yeah, staggering from people. Oh, actually, no. I don't know if it works off executions. I know you adds a tag off regular staggers if you get yeah. bumped by somebody into somebody else it adds a tag to the person who you've bump, been bumped into so it it can actually mean that you can if you're you can be trying to not to avoid adding a tag in a guard break in a gank situation but then accidentally give a tag by being bumped into somebody and that's super weird um so that's like a little a little thing on the side with the yeah. rag doors um there is a, now is something i want to, to mention which is all right, this is something that Barak likes to do a lot, and you'll see him doing this in team fights. Oh, um, no. So, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm thinking of, right? Yes, I do, and it's terrible. Yeah. Well then. God damn, I suck uh, so much. No, you have to do it in the direction of the attack. So even oh, okay. you need to dodge forward if I'm gonna do a top heavy. Forward. Okay. All right. I I am quite uh, the connoisseur in these as well. Don't worry. <laughs> MM is perfect so, place to exploit the renders. So we were talking about essentially what I'm covering, what I mentioned here is the execution prompt itself. So when you're in the execution prompt, you cannot cancel it by switching to. Oh, there we go. We're getting, getting styled on here. You can't cancel it by switching target, but you can cancel it by dodging. I did it wrong again. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Maybe I should yeah. be doing this. Yeah, no, well, I, I only. All right, one more time, one more time. One more time, one more time, come on. One more time, and then it will switch to a competent player to demonstrate things. All right, me. we're switching, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you go, if you can go in a ca an assassin with, is there any assassin that has good hitboxes, actually, on their on their side heavies? Uh, I mean, Zerk has all right hitboxes. Um, what, okay, what, actually, what it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. It's another tip that um, I know about about being able to. Yeah, actually, it doesn't matter. So we can just um, me and and Radio want to go on the same team. It's a second tip of how to avoid being in the um, execution prompt to start off with. So I guess Normie can demonstrate here the things that cancel and don't cancel the execution prompt, and notably. Something that catches me out every fucking time is target swapping doesn't cancel the execution prompt. So yeah, that's uh... you execute somebody, you want to target swap to the person you like who's like about to hit you. You don't, and then you sit there looking like a lemon, and you get an you attack. Um... <laughs> yeah, faint your execution. Prompt. Oh yeah, you you can't <laughs> faint your execution prompt either. Um, you actually literally can't. Like it's it's you you can press the faint button as many times as you want. It won't do it. You can try attack. You you oh, can't yeah. cancel uh, the well, attack on PC, either. On PC, the pain button is one of the execution buttons. So. Oh, is it? <laughs> well, if it's different on your controller, it's still you still can't uh, faint it. I don't think you can even cancel it with a guard swap either. So uh, what the you, only thing you can cancel it with a dodge or unlocking. Uh, which you is... can cancel it with moving as well. Uh, what? No. 
Oh, it works with controllers at least. Maybe, okay. Hold on. Uh, let's showcase that thing that. Uh... Now, watch me fail again, because I mean, as well. There we go. The um, the Barak tech. There we go. He, Barak loves doing that. And you'll see him quite a lot sit in the in team fights, sit in the execution prompt, waiting for an attack that he can deflect. Um, and gen uh, genuinely, I think it's actually quite smart because people, you see them sitting in there, you're like, okay, I'm going to do it. Oh, crap. Get styled on. Um, yeah. Because, you know, people are sort of hardwired to, to attack people you see in the execution prompt because obviously it's quite vulnerable. Um, as you can demonstrate, you can demonstrate that it's not cancelled by guard swapping um, if you want to. I yeah. pretty much spammed my mouse there, so it's all right. You can see that there. Oh, sorry, I just respawned. Um, I guess you can show that if it if it's cancelled by moving. I'm pretty sure it is cancelled by moving. Try, but oh, at least it is on controller. Nope. No. All right. Well, I'll try. I'll try on you in that case. Well, that's dodging. I think I dodged, yeah. Yes, um, you did dodge. I did. I, 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 I wiggled the stick too hard. It's on the. It's the. My dodge button is also on the. Move. It's also my movement button. But um. But yeah, for for the tech thing, the deflect, uh, you need to dodge uh in the direction of the attack. So as you saw, uh, over here. Here, let's show this. Um, if I'm executing Nobu and Orochi does a top heavy on me, I'm gonna have to think like I am locked on to the Orochi and dodge forward into the attack and not dodge sideways be sideways because then I'm just going to eat the attack. Uh, so... To be fair, I think you can also target swap to me because, you know... Yeah, I it... can, but, uh, I mean, this is how... This is how you usually do This is how you're supposed to do it. Yeah. So, if I kill him and he does a top heavy and I side dodge, I should... Yeah, I'm either going to dodge it like that, or if I dodge super late, I'm going to just eat the heavy, so... Yeah, um, I think if you... Try that if and when you just try locking onto me because I think actually you can just avoid that completely. Well, see that's the thing. If I lock onto you, there is no execution prompt. Oh, did you go in the? No, you you need to get the execution prompt and then and then target swap. No, no, no that uh, that yeah. Ah, oh, doesn't on controller. If yeah, you use the target uh, button. It's a bit different. I mean, actually, here we'll try, we'll try because uh, I didn't have my thing on something else uh, before this. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you have it on never, then uh, like we showed earlier, if you have that setting on never, then you can just switch targets after you kill. Uh, I actually don't have it on never. I mean, I didn't have have it on never uh, because huh. I, I'm just I've just played for like whatever six thousand hours like this uh, that I'm Fair enough. I'm used to doing this, and it's like how do I explain this? Like if I'm doing this heavy, I've locked on like this already yeah so that was gonna that's what was the thing that i wanted to give the other tip um in how you can do this is how you can if you ever find yourself where you hitting like you kill your opponent with a chain attack and you want to carry on your chain what you can do is target swap to your next opponent before your heavy hits them and you won't go into the execution prompt so i always forget to do this so i'm a terrible example but if you do like two heavies against um radio and then want to do the your unblockable against me. You probably want to hit him with a light so he, that second heavy kills him first. I mean, that, no, that light will put me in the prompt. It's just not gonna. No, no. If you if you one heavy, heavy. No, so you use a heavy and then in the middle of your second. Well, you can do it with this one. In the middle of your heavy, target swap. So even if you throw your heavy on him, target swap to me before your heavy hits him. Yeah. Does that put you? Does that let you carry on chaining? No, no, that doesn't let you carry on chaining. That just lets you. Uh... Uh, like it's basically cutting the execution prompt to like a few milliseconds. Oh, I thought there was a way you could. Um, oh, okay, I thought there was a way you could. Uh, no, that's it. Carry on chaining, but you have to target just... before you throw the attack. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess people. You know, people know to target to use your external attacks on people anyway, so that's fine. Um. Oh. Um. There are. There's actually quite a you bug the exes in the game be it just animation or uh like i know lawbringer still has a bugged one uh where, what do you think uh one where it's like an execution one where like they cut off their head 
I can't remember the name. Um, that one's bugged. A Zerk's one used to be bugged. Uh, this one right here. Uh, used to have bugged animation. Uh, it's quite a few that uh, are or used to be bugged. It doesn't really make a difference, just animation things, but sometimes they uh, do mess up and uh, it happens. There is one which is quite a funny bug execution currently in the game, which I could show you if you if you want to swap characters. I've got, yeah. actually got it. Um, oh, we can show off the uh, Aramusha being... Um, the Aramusha <laughs> killing Hitakiri. Okay, so you go Hitakiri with your tier 1 feet. Um, the execution feet. Why do I go Hitakiri? I'm the Rep 7 Yara. Oh, okay, you go Aramusha in that case. Um, just whoever wants to be... Uh... Yeah, you go, you go Aramusha and then... Yeah. I'll go on your team and then... He... No, actually, we need to. Cause I need to have my execution interrupted. So, because I've only, the thing is, I've only got, I've got the the bug execution on a character that's not. I mean, we'll show Hito, we'll show Hito, and then we'll show the bug execution. Oh, all right, okay. Not like we're in a hurry anyway. Yeah, uh, that's true. Is this right? Is this the right setup? No, you. The whoever's playing Hitakiri wants to be okay. I'll play Hitakiri. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, and you'll execute him. Yeah. And I'll execute him. You know what, I'll, I'll even do the extra long execution, so I give you all the time you need to wail on me, but it'll, you'll be able to kill me even without that. Um, the one time this doesn't necessarily work is if the Itakiri procs... Um, what's his face? Uh, Bloodlust blood in the middle from the kill, because that gives you damage reduction, so you can... Or her tier three. Her tier three is, uh, I think, like it's like a huge damage reduction for executing oh, someone. It's not a huge damage reduction. Just it's like fifteen percent. Is it? I oh, it used to be like fifty. Yeah, you used, it used to be thirty oh. percent launch, and then it got nerfed very quickly to twenty percent, which was fine, and then it got nerfed again to fifteen percent, which is rubbish. Good. Um, <laughs> Like for no reason, I don't know why they. they, they a while like, when they nerfed a bunch of the healing feats, they nerfed a bunch of the other feats that uh, just do random shit. Actually, I need I need to heal up to get the um, my tier one first anyway. Oh, so. I didn't put the thing. All right, I mean let him. Don't let worry him about boost. it. Let him just boost. let me boost, and I'll get my tier one. And it won't take me long. I guess if you want to, so you can come on here and get a defender renown, killing one of you. Oh yeah, that's right. Defender renown, boggers. Defender renown, let's do it. I oh, actually, fuck me. I got and unlocked it with that kill anyway, didn't I? Res. Right, let's do. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing and, I could do about that. Yeah, um, that was you were on full HP as well. Um, I was on full HP, yeah. I had to fair I did do the longest execution in the game. If I was doing my normal like fast execution, you won't be able to get that off I mean probably here, enough to take off my full health shield. Assuming at least. you're in like here, if I hit you with like let me hit you with a few of these. Oh, yeah. If you're like this and you're like just getting an exe, it's gonna be very easy for me to kill you even if you do a shorter one. I mean Yeah. I okay, guess before I could block anything. So yeah, in general disadvantage of having I mean again to be fair, most people don't seem to realise that's possible. Yeah. Um so and they're more likely to just guard break you out of it anyway, because of course guard breaking um, interrupts this feat anyway. So, but bear in mind if you're playing Aramusha and the guy has got, if you're confident you can do enough, that I mean now it actually is a good example of when you won't be able to do it because I've got bloodlust up now. So, um, we can just do the first the first experiment again. Um, I'm just gonna run out of stamina before I can actually kill you. Yeah. See, my heavies are dealing 15 damage because that's cool. Because Bloodlust does. There we go. And I can still do this. Yeah, you can still hit me with that. Though. This is a very, very long execution. Oh man, just missed that. 
And I almost killed them. Yeah, to be fair, you're not going to find an execution like that. Most of the time, if I'm doing my, like, short execution, then you probably won't be able to take off my full shield. I mean, you'd have to do... If you've got Bloodlust up, you have to do 200 damage to take off the shield. So yeah, and that's like not going to happen. Like however much to... How much, you know, double the amount of damage his, his health is um, after the execution. Because at that point, you're going to get the execution off, aren't you? Um, uh, things you can't... Oh, yeah, you can't all guard out of uh, execution prompt, by the way. So I, I guess... Not might, know that? Uh, you cannot actually all guard out of it. That would be pretty cool, to be honest. I'm not even going to lie to you. I mean, genuinely, I don't know why, it, like, there's a bunch of things that should get rid of it. I don't know why target swapping doesn't. Um, I tried can to I test moving my... again? Because, and this one I won't dodge. Yeah, try it, try <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure it did before, but then maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. Yeah, there we go. I yeah. moved out of it then. Yeah, that's only, so, uh, that's only on maybe it's only... Order, though. Maybe it's only a controller. There we go. I mean, I can plug in my controller and test if you want. Sure, if you want to. I mean, I, I mean, it's it's one of these weird things that, you know. Hold on, I have it right here. Actually, I'll write that down actually, because that's an, I've I've been meaning to report, um, things that are different, um, versus you know PC and Metal Ask and Shibo versus controller. Um. Oh, don't kill him! Don't kill him! All right, hold on. I'm a controller gamer. Oh, that's just, this is terrible. Uh, wait, what am I showing again? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't... Okay, it didn't work for me there. I do have really different settings, though. Uh, Weird. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. There's some there's some strangeness going on. There's, there are a few little differences between mouse and keyboard and controller. Um, and I think that's one of them. Uh, maybe, maybe it's unique to my loadout, and I'll have to mess around with my own settings to find out which one of those... It, which one of those is calling it, but apparently it does. Um, uh, yeah, the other thing I was going to cover was we didn't we do that? Well, we did that thing with the target swapping, but apparently that's not actually doesn't actually work in that case. So, yeah, you can kill somebody with a target swapped heavy, and obviously that's not going to put you in execution prompt and it will, will let you carry on chaining. Um, I actually honestly thought that you could switch targets mid chain and still be. Like, you could switch targets before the... I mean, I'll try it anyway. Um... You'll see, it just uh, it'll make your execution prompt super short. Oh, shit. Um... You have variable timing heavies. Yeah, I... I... Yeah, it does make it super short, alright. Okay, for some... I, I got it confused between... But I guess that's that's one way to get out of it sooner rather than later. Yeah. Um yeah, but it isn't. I do find honestly, I do find it annoying. I wish you could cancel it and just carry on going into your chain attacks. Um, but I mean, what, what can I say? It's just happy. Um, any other little execution tip bits? Anybody else got any tips in chat or stuff in dojo voice text or in the in the Twitch chat? If there's something else you want us to cover regarding executions, um, I don't think there's any like uh, I'm thinking of like super exclusive, like uh bugged stuff but i don't think there is anything oh yeah of course the other there's the other bugged execution let's switch out characters because I've, I've only got that one shaolin um this is actually pretty hilarious It'll, it's almost almost certainly going to be fixed soon it's on the bug reporter um it's not scheduled for being fixed but i've reported it so but uh, this is one of the reasons uh, why event executions are normally banned in um... Oh yes, of course, the doi. We haven't covered this thing yet. Um... Right, I'm ready. Um, well, well, we can cover that now. Uh, talk about the universal executions being worse for small, for no reason. Alright, so we can thank you much for mentioning that, Stag. That's obviously relevant today. We're talking about executions today because there's been a batch of new executions which are universal and appear in the menu to be fast, but they actually aren't. Um, and have another issue where they don't heal as much. But we'll, we'll get onto that after we've done this this bugged, bugged thing. Okay, so um, this actually is a bugged universal execution as well. But we'll... It is still fast and executions uniques, but that's about the only benefits they have for it, so... 
So part, if you go into tournaments, you'll notice that almost all the rule sets say that event executions and limited time executions, so including the battle pass ones, are banned. And the reason that is, is A, exclusivity. You can't get them anymore. So you, if one of them provides an advantage, for example, by keeping the opponent out of the game for a very, very long time, like these long executions do, then it's unfair that you, the opponents can't necessarily get this. Um, uh, so basically what we want to do here is you want to execute my in, interrupt my execution as soon as possible. Um, Uh, wrong execution, that cars. Um, <laughs> okay, I revive. So yeah. as soon as possible. As soon as possible, yeah. Um, you'll see me. You'll see me putting my weapon away, and you guys, you can do it as okay. as I'm putting my weapon away. Um, okay, it's not this one. Uh, I must All have. Right, we troubleshoot. We troubleshoot. Yeah, we just find out which one I've bound it to. Um, I was testing this the other day. It's not that one either. Yeah, it must be hold, must be on hold Y in that game. Sorry about this, guys. Or, you know, I've unbound it because I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's also possible. Maybe it's the third, the fourth one. Did you try the fourth one already? Let's try the fourth one and we'll find out. <laughs> this is what happens when you, uh, when you do live stuff, people, and you don't prepare for it beforehand. <laughs> It is this one. There we go. Perfect. It is on this one. Uh, can we see? I see. I don't know about this. <laughs> yep. Uh, Ilma's helping hand execution, which is the the really weird one where you um, she throws your weapon, is you can't be interrupted. Like, well, it's weird. It can be interrupted if it's interrupted late on. So if if you come back here and I execute you again, you'll see that if you interrupt me after I start after the weapon gets into my hand, even before I kill you. Um... So you wait a little bit to ex... Uh, now interrupt me. Yeah, there we go. The it's ground. normal. But if you get interrupted in between your weapon being... the weapon putting on your back and uh, the execution happening... It doesn't. It doesn't heal you. No. It's it's really weird, actually. I don't. I don't know why that's the case. I guess it has a check for it only heals you if you're in the middle of an execution. Um, like, have you got any of the new executions for for Kyoshin? The new, the one that came out today. Yeah. I don't actually. And I'm that's not okay. They're not very good. We will talk about them now. Um, in that case. What's what's with well, them? Okay. Let's um. Let's go over to. Let's switch characters again. Um, I'll pick up my Kyoshin because I picked one of the executions on him. So, the, as you noticed when I was doing that one on a, the weird one that is bugged and can't be interrupted or can only be interrupted late, um, then... Uh, yeah, this will do. This will be fine. Okay, so I'll go Kyoshin. This one. Okay, so you notice that when I did my Ilma's helping hand execution, I put my weapon behind me. Well, all executions that are universal, in the menu they won't show you this, but when you use them in game, you have an extra animation where you put your weapon away. Um, and that adds an extra 1000 milliseconds or one second onto any execution time. That time is given in the info hub, so the info hub will include that time. But a lot today, a lot of people saw these executions and thought, wow, these are really fast. Actually, in reality, they're not actually that fast. Because the like with this extra one second of weapon put weapon putting away time actually adds a lot of time to the overall speed of the execution. So I guess you've seen his the, you've probably seen the new executions in the menu. Um, let me just kill you. Is that like putting my... Uh, this overall looks quite fast. But actually, in terms of the overall kill time, 
it's not significantly faster than his previously fastest execution. It's like that one's like three seconds to execute. Um, but another aspect, and yes, thank you very much for giving me low health because this is what I need need to demonstrate this. Um, so the overall time of that execution is six seconds. So if we discussed already, uh, actually it's 6.2 seconds. Any execution longer than five seconds should be healing you for 35 health. Oh, sorry, for 50 health. Blech, I'm getting, getting ahead of myself. But as you can see from my health now, when I do this supposedly fast execution that's actually over six seconds long, look at my health totals. That's only 35 health. It's less than two bars, which is what 50 health is. What? So. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. So even though the execution is longer because of the weapon, putting the weapon away animation, that is not come. reflected in the amount of health you get from them. Yeah, so this is relevant for all of the new executions and also for um, Death by Spears, which is one of the other older universal executions where you call down spears. Um, that one also doesn't heal you for 50 health even though it's longer than five seconds it's like five and a half seconds but it only heals you for 35 because this one second time is just not included and actually these ones are even worse than that because the like even with one second taken off it should be 5.2 seconds should still heal you 50 health but it doesn't it heals you 35 um so you know this is something to bear in mind for universal executions even though they might look good in the menu, they are always at least one second worse than they look in the menu. Um, when you're looking for XG, it's just general thing. Uh, check the check the hub. It's uh, what like takes you a little bit, and you get uh, actual all information about your uh, your XG. Yeah. Um, yeah. Basically, check my spreadsheets. I spend a lot of time on them. <laughs> yes, his um, spreadsheets and his only. Yeah, but I let you all graciously use them. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people put work in to find the information on these things. A lot of the execution data is uh, quite old, and it's from Gadengo. So big shout out to Gadengo or Zillifane. I'm not sure they're still in the community anymore, but they're really helpful when they were when they were doing it. Um, yeah, universal executions a bit trash. Um, they're also almost all almost always out of lock executions as well. So you're going to get highly punished for for uh, out, I mean, luckily Kyoshin has doesn't have any good out, out of lock punishes either, so I'm a, I'm safe to use an out of lock execution here. And he hasn't got any opportunities, any ones which aren't uh, out of lock anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, any other things we can think about about executions to mention? Um, I'm actually surprised we managed to go gun gun on for over an hour about it, so. Yeah, me too. Uh, I know yeah. where Shigoki today, I guess. <laughs> Early, yeah, yeah, I think uh, we'll do Shigoki another time. Um, Shigoki's got some pretty good executions, actually. He's got his hip attack. It's a, quite a fast execution, and it only takes... Um, and it heals 50 health. It's only, like, slightly longer than five seconds. Um, I guess one other... If you wanted to go one other exception to this rule about universal executions being slightly worse than regular executions is the... Um, I mean, most of you probably won't have it, but the oh, probably Requiescer in Pache, the Assassin's Creed execution. Uh, even though it does have the one second of attack put away, uh, like put away your sword animation, it still heals for 35 health. And though it's like as appropriate, it should do for the amount of time, for the length of time it is. So I don't know if that maybe all. Oh, I mean, maybe that could be slightly different, but we'll see. I think that's. Un I don't think that. I think that one doesn't follow this extra weird. Um, rule. Yeah. Right, I've got another thing to do. Text. Best exes for the cast? I mean, we can do. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Um, That's a lot. <laughs> nah, we just, we'll just, we'll just like um, power through. I've got a spreadsheet open. You can, we can, you can go yeah, to the menu and just, and just show them off in the menu. Um, that'd be easy enough. Yes, fair enough. Stretch that a little time. And of course, if you're bored, just leave. <laughs> All right, here we go. Great, <laughs> great streaming. All right. Let me grab up my spreadsheet. Okay, so... Warden. The fastest execution for Warden is... I think is... The fastest killing one is... Uh, spinning decapitation. 
which is one of the deep, the early ones. Oh no, sorry, sorry. Taking out the trash is the fastest okay. killing one. This one kills at one point two seconds. It's twenty health one. The fastest overall is being decapitation. That's two point nine seconds. But the best one you probably want to go for and use most of the time is Blackstone Bash. So the ones, that I, the two ones that I have are taking out the trash and Blackstone Bash. We've got which are, um, yeah, Blackstone Bash kills at one point eight seconds and is fifty health. The so, ball and lasts, I think, this five, one, just over five seconds. So yeah. This one is the fastest HP, uh, 20. This one is the fastest 50. And this one is the fastest overall. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the fastest killing one, actually. The Taking out the trash, fastest killing yeah, one. Yeah, that's the way I showed it. Oh, do you? Okay. I'm, maybe I'm just... It's being uh, uh, is fast as... I'm watching on... I should watch player. on Discord. There we go. Discord. It's the one I've got. I actually got this. I've even got the window open. I'm such an umpty. Um, okay, so yeah, oh, please keep it. Um, fastest killing is disarmor, actually, but the one you want to probably want to go for is led to the slaughter because yeah, well, that. No, 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 I have none for her, for her so. That's uh, right. I think led to the slaughter is what she wants. The default one. What's the fastest uh, overall? Fastest overall is yeah, led to the slaughter. So the uh, default one, uh, top one. Yeah, this one. Okay, so that's the fastest fastest overall, and it also kills very fast, 1.7 seconds. What's the um, fastest 50? The fastest 50, I think, is Deadly Embrace. No, I, no that's, sorry. That, Deadly Embrace, that's 20 as well. Um, but that one keeps the opponent... Deadly Embrace keeps the opponent in a longer animation. So it's actually quite a good 20 health one as well to go for, because it kills at 2.6 seconds. It's less than 4 seconds long. And it keeps the opponents from respawning for an extra an extra three seconds. So that's quite a good one to go for. I think the yeah, fastest so... 50 health one is... Ole, I think. That's so. Ole, yeah. Um, 3.5 kill seconds, 5.7 overall, and has a six. It keeps the opponent, again, respawning for an extra one second. So that's another, another of these good ones. Um, Next. There are a few pretty good fasts. Sent. Uh, and, okay, we're going that uh, that order. Best, uh, okay, best fifty most optimal is this is usually what uh, we we'll refer to to as uh, most optimal is the fastest fifty, uh, which is yeah. uh, this one right here. I like the uh, yeah. It's actually super. Well, it's not super long, but it is pretty long. You get the HP yeah. cut off the arm though, so that's 50 it's five right point nine, there. but it kills at one point two seconds, so super fast. Um, another one you want to use with this guy is Veni Vidivici. Um, it's not as fast to kill. It kills in like 3.1 seconds and it only heals 35, but it keeps the opponent from respawning for nine seconds. So you basically keep them out of the game twice as long as so, you're in the game. So it's so that is actually really powerful. HP, I use this one quite a lot. HP you get when the stab happens and uh, a few milliseconds after the stab is when you can start moving around and they so only... you can start walking now pretty much there yeah, yeah and, and it lasts uh... all this time um so if you're on a point when you want to keep the opponent out for as long as possible but get yourself so when you're executing an opponent on a point you own you're obviously going to be healing the entire time that you're executing as well so the amount of health isn't necessarily important the important thing is keeping them out of the game for as long as possible and yeah you you want to go with any video which you on century i think uh, what's the fastest uh overall is i block think it's not your block off yes I 3. So. Eight seconds. this is the fastest overall and it kills pretty fast as well i think it's 2.6 seconds kill. i mean all the all the fast overall ones kill quickly because you know right fast bp uh we he, went over this yeah. slicer is the slicer. Most optimal it's not yeah i mean honestly i think this is the best in terms of numbers the best execution execution in the game on any character because it's the fastest killing one, it heals a good amount, 35, and it keeps them out of the game for 7 seconds. So, it's really good. The best for 50 health is probably Ursabeth's Prowess. Um, this one kills in 3, kills there. Yeah. Um, the... But it's 6.3 total. So, another quite good one I like is um, Vortica's Reckoning is quite good as well, I think. Yes. That kills there. Yeah, you can see and by then, the effect. Yeah, you can see if you have them you can see where the, from the effect is. And you can sort of tell from the like the the wham noise that it makes in the menu as well. 
and um so what's that also my ping leave out something one of the slower ones uh obviously there's the you know, yeah his the default ones. one is actually really really slow oh, his yeah, um breaker is one of the slowest ones he has so it's useful to have you know you don't have to spend anything extra to get this very very long one um i think it takes eight seconds to kill but overall it's like 12 and a half seconds which is super long um Actually, guess we go on to uh, griffin Griffin's... so his best one is actually his default one um flips over it's really fast and it's 50 1.6 kill 5.6 overall it's just really good heads will fly is a little bit faster overall but it only heals 35 kills there um so it kills slightly slower and it's only 35 so um yeah he's also got like these ones you know sylvan detachment and shit like they're long so you you know, those those are useful if you want long ones. The universal ones are, tend to be really long. So, um, I'm not sure. Has he got has he got the shame one as well? I think it's called the shame one. Is like a the bell or the bell? The bell, yeah, the bell. Uh, Resounding defeat. That's yeah. the one. This one. this one you'll see used quite a lot in um, tournaments. If people go in for a long one. Also, of course, let's not forget about the psychological damage that this inflicts on your opponent. Um, yes. That's a, like genuinely making people salty is actually valuable. Um, so sometimes an execution will help you with that. We're going back to. That's just the uh, warden is. Uh, this one. And this one for 50. What about the intro test? Yeah, well, the fastest overall one for Warden is um, Spinning Decapitation, which is like less than three seconds total. But it kills at, near the end, so... I mean, it depends what you want, really. I, I go the with... Is the, 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 yeah, the play. That's the one. What you want to go for, yeah. Conqueror doesn't have a huge number of good ones. Um, his default ones are pretty fast. Um, they're both... His default ones, Garot and Pop Top, are both 20 health, and they're both four seconds, and they both la kill at almost exactly the same time. 2.5 seconds so they're good ones um the best 50 health one is probably eat dirt yeah that um, would be that one yeah because this one is 50 health kills about there kills like 2.9 seconds I oh no 2.4 seconds so that's pretty good why is mongrel's charge got three stars which are only two stars i'm getting rid of all star there we go um more pings from places, but I can't tell where they're from. It's not relevant to this. Yeah, there's oh, a okay. few good ones. Uh, his longest. The, the one that this one, the Rowdy Sentence, I know is like really long for one of his uniques. Yeah, that one, this one's very, very long. Um, 1300 milliseconds, I think. And it kills quite soon as well. If you're going for a very long execution, though, one of the best ones you can do is Minified and Magnified. Um, this one here. These all kill there, and they have the what the putting away animation on them, so that's also quite long. But that on this is quite fast, so it's a three second kill time. And of course, that means you get the heal. You heal there. Um, and that is great. You get the health. You keep them for long out, long time. And even if even if if you make a misjudgment, you kind of going to interrupt you. I mean, you've kept you you already you're less likely to to you know more damage because 50 health is quite nice um, um okay on to i guess lawbringer. lawbringer lawbringer's got a bunch of really really good executions not many of his default ones though so, so... overall best one uh 50 the impaler this one's been yeah. his best for the longest time uh, 1.2 seconds kill time and you know takes 6.3 seconds to be over but personally i actually prefer oh come on because the kill time is only slightly less. It's two seconds, 2.1 seconds. But it releases you 4.7 seconds in, and it keeps them out of the game for nine seconds. So it's really fucking good. Um, which one? Oh, yes. He's got the ones with the, which the stomp is one of the ones that puts them out of the game for less time than you're stuck in the animation. Um, yeah, because there's an animation where yeah, you're putting your weapon back somehow. Yeah, and they start respawning like half a second earlier, so I'd probably put that under one star rather than two. Um, uh, knock Knock also, you can cancel it early as well. I think you can... 
Well, after you smack them there, you can just walk away instead of pointing at them. Um, you can cancel a little bit earlier. He's got a few long ones as well. I think a lot, most heroes have got quite a lot, a lot of long ones because of the older ones. Longer. This one's really long as well. I think it's almost 14 seconds. Uh, this one that I have is like super long. Yeah, 14 seconds. It's, it's 13.9 seconds. Yeah, almost 14 seconds. Let me just mute this. There's a few good ones. Like, uh, long shot is a really good fast one. Yep, that's uh, five seconds total, so it still heals 50. Wait. Oh, it's 35 seconds. 35. Um, I don't know why that's it's got three, that's three stars. Hmm. This one's a good yeah, one. There's a bunch of really good ones. Robin yeah, he's got a bunch a of really good ones, yeah. Really good um, uh, Gladiator is one of these characters that doesn't have many good ones, actually. Um, oh, let me talk about my Gladiator. Right, so, um best for time uh is either the 5k execution which is help me here because i don't remember fighting um, 30. maximum carnage maybe fighting dirty no, i know the 50 fastest 50 this one it's either fastest fighting 50. dirty or skilled performer which is oh yeah fighting dirty is 5.7 seconds and killed at 2.8 so that's quite good yeah um, these are the same i think uh, skilled performer and the fighting dirty uh they're very slightly skill form is, is like 0.1 seconds slower so yeah they're essentially the same oh uh, actually there's a big difference though uh, fighting dirty keeps you in lock where skill performer doesn't uh -huh. so so in that case fighting dirty you want instead of skill performer because yes. yeah um other ones that are right on him uh, really thin is good yeah that's quite fast again uh, but like Braindead compared to 35 yeah brain dead is fastest one that's it's just under five seconds but to be honest you can get a five second one or slightly over five seconds which heals you 50 so i normally go if it's like i don't find 35 health executions particularly like if my choice is a 35 one that is like 4.9 seconds or a 50 health one which is 5.5 .5 seconds i just go for the 50 health one because you know this one right here is really health. long this one right here yeah really um does that knock it off? Yeah. Yeah, 13.8 seconds, almost 14 seconds. Um, I guess next character is Warmonger. Yes, indeed. She has a very good execution, her default one. Um, evisceration is 1.8 seconds. Kill Kills when you punch them, and it ends just afterwards. Like, it's 5.5 .5 seconds. So this is one of the best 50 health executions in the game, really. Um it was one of the best ones until uh, Griffin came out <laughs> with his even better default one. She doesn't have really long ones because she doesn't actually have a lot of uh, unique, unique ones. ones yeah. But uh, um, there is always the universal ones. Yeah. I guess her fastest one now is Wrathful Conclu Concision, but that's only 20 health. So it's generally... And it's like... It's 0.6 seconds slower, faster than her ev evisceration... And it's 20 health more. It's like 30 health less. So, and it kills slower. So don't, just don't bother with it. Yeah, this one um, is fast. Uh, this uh, default one for Glad, maximum carnage. It is fast. It's uh, I don't know how much it is though. Tw 20 or 25. It's 35. Yeah. So this one's alright as well. Yeah, it's slightly slower than Brain Dead, but like by a tiny amount. So. Uh, on to Raiders and let's. Raider. Raider's got some really really good ones actually. Um, yeah. I guess his best one. Is headhunting in terms of like the fastest? Well, headhunting is the fastest killing one. It's 20 health, but it's real fast. Um, I think his best uh, 50 health one is Aegir's Tide or Lost My Head, both of which kill really quickly and are 50 health. I think Aegir's Tide is slightly faster, but it lasts slightly longer, so it's a balance. This one kills like there. But it's faster overall. I prefer Aegis Tide, but you know, you yes. do you. Um, Headhunting is just the fastest, so. Yeah, that one's a, just a really good one to use in Breach and that kind of thing. Um, Berserk has a bunch of good ones as well. Berserk has actually got one of the fastest one. I think I think he's got the fastest execution overall in the game. Is this is Valkenheim? Is only two point five seconds long. And kills there. And you just free straight away. So this yeah. is a really fast one. Um, 
his I think it's actually his fastest killing one as well. But his yeah, fastest it's... killing fifty health one is watch sure. this. Wait, it... oh, oh yeah, no, it is. Yeah, watch this kills slightly faster, so it's um kills there. Um, but it's not as fast overall as Cannibal Dropkick, which is. 5.3. And also, of course, that one makes their butt stick in the air, which is great. So, you know. Yes. He doesn't want that. Um, Highlander. All right, I actually tested a bunch of, a couple of Highlanders ones today. So, his default one, Intent to Behead, is his fastest overall. And his fastest 50 health, like, killing one is oh, No okay. Mercy. No Mercy. No Mercy kills at 2.3 seconds. So, oh, yeah, this default. is. Yeah, I forgot about this one. Kills at the arm. Shop. If um, you want the fastest, uh, one of the fastest ones. Fastest in control, fifty health. Fastest fifty uh, is that one. Is uh. It's fastest you know, fifty overall is Bone Crusher, I think, actually. But it is the fifty-five k um, one. Yeah. Kills there, but slightly slower kill time. Um, I actually checked these. I thought they were they were originally marked as in lock executions. Oh, actually, there's something you can say a little bit of in lock things. We'll, we'll talk about it when we get to the next character, actually, because we get. Let's go York was first. Um, swing Frit. I think his brutal upswing is his fastest overall. Boop, boop. Onk, 35. And his best, fastest killing 50 health is, I think it's called Hammerhead, actually. Oh, um, yes, the Hammerhead one. This one kills there. Keeps him out of the game for a very long time, and it's a long one overall, but it kills really quickly. So uh, it's, it's always a. It's always a, a trade-off if you think you're going to take eat a light attack for executing, then you can do this one in the middle of a team fight, and then you'll still be fifty. You'll still be a little bit extra. Um, I remember this one. Um, this one's actually pretty good. Uh, I don't think this one's. I mean, it looks cool, but yeah, it's not it actually cool. got its stats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, loads of them look cool. We're going to like the ones we think looks cool, but <laughs> um, War, all right. On to War's best ones for fifty is Heart Attack and uh, the Viking's Elbow. I believe they're. He's also got Can't Punch. This is really good as well. So Can't Punch this. So yeah, these kill quite quickly. They're like three seconds kill times and five seconds overall. Can't Punch this is three point eight seconds kill time but it also keeps them out of the opponent out of the game for nine and a half seconds and it kills them and you're free five seconds in so it's, it's six seconds for you and nine and a half seconds for them so i think can't punch is probably the best best choice for his like executions in my opinion he has uh, really long ones as well like head of the batter nail down nail down, nail down is really long. nail down is really long final summer is really long as well also kills fairly quickly as well so Good choice. Um, in terms of just mentions like the stayed in lock thing. So if you look at head scissor for him, which is his like default one and is quite a fast one. Um, look at the pose he goes into at the end of the, the thing. So you can see he he goes back into his default weapon pose, right? Well, most of the executions that keep you in lock, they end going back into your default guard pose. And this is the only way you can really tell from them, the menu, rather than testing them each individually. This is if they look like you go back to normal, they normally stay in lock. Yeah, if you go one. to any of those other ones, um, so just like Shield Bash Uppercut, for example, uh, or really any of them, really. Just, I just go to um, like uh, this one. I think this one actually puts you back in guard. No, it doesn't. Now, look, when you're standing up afterwards, I mean, it's hard to tell from the perspective. Go for like Shield Bash Uppercut. Like right there, his yeah, default just one. Straight. Uh, yeah. Shield Bash. This one. So, just so he goes into a st standing up pose, and when if they go into a standing up pose, like the de their default out of lock pose, they normally end out of lock. So that's the general rule. It's not 100% consistent. So the only real way to know is to test them all. And full disclosure, they seem to change occasionally, um, and don't. Like the values in the info hub might not be correct, but if you find one that is different, uh, that like if you find one that's labeled as it stays out of lock, but it is in lock, just tell me and I'll change it. Um, you know, give me a clip and that kind of thing. It's Valk. helpful. I don't know anything about Valk, so. Uh, her default one trick shot is quite fast and kills quite quickly. I think her fastest 50 health one is either shield trip, which kills at 2.5. 
Uh, hold on, I'm being. It's near the bottom for new ones. Yeah, and that's where it kills. Um, so it's it kills fast, but it's overall quite long. If you want a 50 health one that is fast and doesn't that kills quite quickly and doesn't last long, and you probably want sportive knockout or spear fishing. Personally, I think spear fishing looks way better than sportive knockout. Yes, so spear fishing looks fucking amazing. Um, uh, hold on, I'm stupid. Spear, there it is. So yeah, that one's pretty fucking cool as well. Um, Shaman, Shaman, Shaman has 5k. Yeah, you better run. Um, 1.6 second kill time, six seconds overall, and 50 health. It's really good. Over under is her other one that's like her fastest one. Um, that's quite good as well. It used to last. It used to be cancelable earlier. Oh no, I was calming the calming the voices. You used to be able to cancel calming the voices over earlier, but. They got rid of that for some reason, even though they haven't got rid of that on any other one that you could cancel early. She's this got a bunch of really long ones as well. Actually, used to be the best one in the game, Alpha Blood. No, uh, it never killed at the next slice. No, no. It, on release it did. On release it did. No, no, it didn't. I swear it did. It was like no, mad. It... Everybody was going crazy about it. Nope, nope. Everybody was going crazy about how it didn't kill at the next slice. Just like me. It. I was looking after the info hub at this point. <laughs> I know, I know. Ken says I think it's called Yasuraka killed on the next slice on release. Yeah, I know they changed that one. And that was something that everyone was mad about because it's like the longest XE he had for a while. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. So we, that's the fastest fifty for Shaman. What's the longest for Shaman? The longest one is Headbanger. Oh, it's great. <laughs> this one's great. Let this one get back here, you. This is I is I I, case, I have this one equipped on Born Slot and I accidentally use it in ranked jewels and I feel really bad. <laughs> there is the, like, uh, the really fast one. This one, this really one's fast. like five star. This is pretty fast as well. Yeah. It's not actually faster than uh, over under, but it's happy. It's a little bit slower, but right. it's thirty five instead of twenty. Can say. Uh, yeah, so can say. His best fifty is doing something, right there. Fifty HP. Overall execution is pretty long. This is kind of like a, a sense. Uh, but the one. Uh, uh, radio was talking about with yeah, this, one. this one. Right. It it does still kill the next slice. No, it kills when he it kills there. That's where it kills now. Oh, they changed it. Oh, in that case, maybe the info maybe my info is wrong. In that case, I'll update the info help. But I'm pretty sure. Well, at least the 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 value I have in here is killing at the next slice. But I will double check that. Try and get something to double check that. Yeah, I know. I know they changed this one. I'm not sure what. From what to what, but I know they did change that one. I mean, they changed the animation as well. And uh, the, his fastest one, I think, is no look. No? Oh, not that one. Quick kill. Quick kill. Yeah, quick kill is unsurprisingly quick kill. Yes. Um, one of the fastest ones in the game. Uh, one point three kill time. Orochiro fastest fifty Tobasu. Amazing execution. Uh, is, uh... Actually, it's not his fastest. 50. Well, I mean, is yeah. It? Yes, it is. It's his fastest one, 50... Hasn't he got one that... Oh, yeah, no. Uh, and Bao technically kills faster and lasts, but lasts slightly longer. So, but it's like 0.1 millisecond. It's 0.1 seconds difference, so, you know, who cares? Um, Tabas is really the, good. What about and Bao is cool, though, so, yeah. Sorry, what, was that? what about, what about the, the jump kill? Does oh, yes, from, from above is a very fast... This is... Until... Um, until Black Pride execution came out, this was the fastest one in the game, fastest killing one in the game. Choke on this is also really fast as well. 1.5 seconds kill time, um, 5.7 seconds overall. So it's 50 health as well. Uh, Roach has got some good executions basically. Yeah, um, from above is really good. Is, uh, longest um, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah it's nine seconds long. Um, very anime. Yes, very good, amazing execution. Yeah, I do like. I personally I prefer Anne Bao because I just I think it's salt, make people salty. So I say that one sucks in my opinion. But I didn't even know that was in the game, Lamar. Okay. Yeah, um, Shinobi. Shinobi's kind of got a bunch of shitty ones, really. But um, his best fifty health one is, I think it's called Zanaku Slicer. Yeah, or uh, uh, 
Because you get the yeah. HP when you cut the arm. And you cut the arm off, yeah. It's quite long overall, though. Um, under the bridge, I think, is quite good as well. There's that one under the bridge. Build at 2.6. Oh, yeah. So, sorry, this is the one. The good one you want is in in a Zuma dash kills very quickly and lasts 4.7 seconds. So that's quite a good one. Um, you killed it, yeah. It's got this weird pose at the end, which is what makes it slower. If it, if you could cancel that, it'd be really fucking good. Yeah. Um, he hasn't got any. He hasn't got any like overall fast ones. Um, other than I mean, it's this hack and slash is basically his. Other one. again. One. Uh, the new ones that came today, uh, they look really fast. Like this one, for example, looks super fast, but they have one extra second because of the animation. So. And they don't heal as much as you expect yeah. either. So, that, that one there is 4.9 seconds, it kills at 2.4 seconds, and it only heals 20. Whereas Inazuma Dash on him kills at 2 seconds, lasts 4.7 seconds, and heals 35. So it's literally better in every single metric. Um, and I don't know if it keeps you out of lock, but I think they're both... I know the other one's out of lock anyway, so, you know. Dakiri, uh... I think it's Hack and Slash. Hack and, Hack and smash. smash is the fastest the fastest one overall the fastest killing 51 i think is butterfly beheading um yeah that one 6.9 seconds three seconds kill time so that's quite a good one um Kamatichi is also quite good for him as well i think Shugoiki. Shugoiki. goki goki has some good ones his default one hit Hip, actually, to be honest, you don't want to use any other one apart from hip attack. It's 50 health, 5.5 yeah. seconds. His only other ones that are faster. Exist, are... Other than hip attack, there's no execution. Yeah, that's his only character. execution, basically. Um, you have, you ha he has like one 35, has 235 health executions, which are like slightly faster. So burst your bubble, for example, is is like one second faster overall. But honestly, just it's, it's slower to kill. Don't bother, just use hip attack yes, all the time. No, yeah. no, no, nothing else. Pure. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, um, the, the, uh, Pinch Hitter and Spepsia are like two ones that look good and are actually good. So if you yeah. really want something to, that looks nice, these two. This one's a really yeah, I think, uh, I think Hip, hip Attack looks great. Just, yeah, you know, crotch. for executions, man? Come on. Uh, I, I love to just, you know, if I love pumping somebody to death, but what can I say? No um Nobu has her like her default one is the fastest one I think. Hato no Duo is like her. That one's her fastest twenty health one. Her fastest fifty HP one I think is five deadly stabs. Um, that's three point six seconds. Oh, our spiritual but spiritual journey kills us three point three, but it's slightly slower overall. Maybe that should be five three stars as well. Okay. Uh, another really fast one for her is Thing Like a Bee. Thing Like a Bee, yeah. And, uh, Thing Like a Bee is good. It's, really I mean, one. the problem is it's stylish. It's like a stylish version of her default one, except it's that style comes at the cost of being ever so slightly slower. So technically yeah. it's worse. Than and Mon 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 cool efficiency is a really long one as well. Yeah, eight seconds, I think. Dearest Pity is also a long, long one and also looks cool. So that's my opinion, but... That kills when she does that. Um, I can hear your mouse wheel through my brain. <laughs> Deal with it. No. Oh. Right. Uh, <laughs> Aras. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, he's got some really good ones, actually. I think his best one, it's fastest headcutter. killing 50, is head cutter. Yeah, it's 2.6 seconds. But. His default ones are really good as well, actually. So his default disjointed is only slightly slow overall and has the same kill time. So 2.6 seconds. That one's pretty good. Um, although we discussed Dragon Palm Strike seems to have like a quite a lot longer. I need to I need to check this one um, for the overall time because because it's you seem to be able to it seems to keep the person like from respawning quite a lot longer. So. Yeah, that uh, one to his check. default ones are like disjointed second best, and head over heels is, I think, his fastest. Yeah, that's his fastest one. Uh, 
Oh, his deeper ones are really, really, really good. The ocean has trash executions, unfortunately. Um, like, because the next one we're going to is Kyoshin. <laughs> just, it's just sad. It's sad. Kyoshin is sad because. Yeah. Use the ones which you think look cool. This one should kill when it neck slices, honestly, but it doesn't. It kills there. Um, and, you know, it's. it's if it killed then, if it killed like the next slice, it would be actually worthwhile. Even so though, even fastest. though, it, this is his fastest killing one, I think. Um, no, his, through the head is his fastest killing one. Uh, I mean, it's... Uh, no, that was the, that one was the fastest overall. I think. Now the fastest overall actually is might is the might of the winds one, the this one. I mean, of course, his fastest overall now is his universe, these universal ones, but they don't heal very much. So yeah. Um, yeah, I guess you want to go with Wrathful Concision if you're going to go with one. Tiandi, okay, Tiandi. Um, down to Earth is, like, look, I think it's his fastest overall. No, Spiral Ending is his fastest overall. Okay. Um, and kills at 2.3 seconds. Down to Earth looks like it kills really fast, but actually only kills when he kicks you off the blade. So it's a little bit worse than it looks like it should be. Um, Typhoon Punishment is probably his best 50 health one. Oh no, he's got Monsoon Frenzy. I forgot about that. Monsoon Frenzy is the best 50 health one. 2.10 seconds. And kills, like... Uh, kills when the last kick connects, so there. There, yeah. Um, so it's quite good as well. Uh, J Nuxia. Nusha. Nusha, her best 50 health one is, I think, Coat Rack? Um... Or hair's sweep, both of these kill quite quickly. Um that I but know this exists, man. Like, well. Yeah. Hair hair's sweep is kills a little bit faster, I think. But it's a little bit longer overall. It kills <laughs> there at the stab. Um But really I think her best one is actually um a short rest. Because this one kill it it you know kills there. But it keeps the opponent out of the game for another four seconds. So it's another one. It's a thirty-five health execution, but it keeps. It's like Veni Vidovici, you just like not not quite as good as Veni Vidovici. Um, crossed Moon Snap is also okay on her. Uh, then whose fastest is his, uh, this one? Graceful Expedient. Graceful Expedient, and you want probably, you probably want to use this one all the time. Yeah, it's one of his fastest overall, and it kills really quickly as well. So this, this, one this is... is like. His execution. Yeah, his one execution that you use all the time. Uh, there are, I think, the latest one. What are yeah. Those? Is alright. Uh, no, it's, it's slower. It his other, his other one is, his other f fifty one that's fast is Fuho's dominance, but that's kills like three point seven seconds, even though it's the same speed overall. Kills like there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, JJ's. Uh, JJ. Fastest uh, 50, I think, is this one. Slound head, yep. That kills at 2.8 and 6.8, 2.4 overall. Backhand spiral is slightly faster overall, but kills later. Why are these things? His fastest period is keep, is keep your stance wide. That's a 35 one and kills quite quickly as well. Longest, I think it also is the fastest killing one as well. Longest is stay down. Well, that's not Tian Deng. Wait, You'll see everybody using this these ones. Oh yeah, yeah. These this, the fucking lamp. Oh. the lamp one. Yeah, people use this one. This this like keeps them out of the game for an extra sixteen seconds. Um, but you know, it's long. But I don't. I I when the when the rating the rating system in the Nifa Hub doesn't have like a star rating for the longest one because they keep on getting longer and longer essentially. So I haven't put that up there. I have to do it every single time. So. And for um, Shaolin, finally. Shaolin, okay, yeah, Next finally. Is we... his best. Uh, I Wait, no, they don't might have you know on that. So, his fastest killing one is Helicopter Strike. The... Oh, hellele... Where is it? There we go. That's 35, kills at 2.4. This and one is his fastest 50. That's his fastest overall 50. But it's quite slow. Um, Flurry of Blows is overall faster. And is quite fast killing as well. But you're right. Anxi is his fastest 50. And it's a default, so... 
and its default yeah i'll add that back 2.9 um is really long one is is monkeying around i think yeah it's fine oh maximum shaolin's also really really long oh yeah I have but that one, so. and that looks really cool <laughs> <laughs> it also launches them absolutely fucking miles so this you can that's the one you can get double kill with by ledging someone on the other side of the zone and um, with it oh my god that was yeah weird. that's all of them well done tap tap clap thank you so much for going through all of that um just the person in Twitch chat saying that Cinder's Wolf saying that normally can't afford these executions. Who can? There's so many of them. Um, I'm poor, man. Like, yeah. Come on. Like, I, I do all these frame checks them, and and they don't even give me steel uh, to to buy them. So I have to buy them all myself. Sad times. Um, but yeah, I guess if you want the longest one in the game is. Um, no, the lamp or the salt one. It's the salt one, I think. Wait. So Halloween wait, event I... had the salt one for the samurai, which was the yeah, and one. it's gave it for everybody else as well. So it's um that one is eighteen seconds long. It's, yeah, it's like just crazy long. It's so long. Um, but then there's so many of the event executions that are almost as long as that nowadays. Um, not all the ones are really really long. The Thor hammer one super long. The all of the Halloween ones are really long, actually. Um, a lot of the Battle Pass ones are super long. You know, I mean, in general, the, the 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 event ones tend to be really long, especially if they pull out a fancy ass weapon and go to town doing wacky stuff. And a bunch of the shared ones are really long as well, so it's easy enough to find long ones. <laughs> those are those are easy to find. It's the the long ones that kill quickly that are harder to find. Um, uh, what's it? Blow your own horn is one that is super long and it's available to most heroes. And the samurai um, kill yourself execution is really fast, really long as well, 17 seconds. Yeah, the one where they give you the um... yeah, the Tetsuo, the one that gives you the like the knife and tells you to stab yourself. Uh... You'll see this one used in tournaments a lot by. Uh, Goki, it's the, it's the longest samurai execution for killing himself. Yep, kill the head slice, takes another, like, a bow. bow. Got a bow and everything first. Yeah, uh, something that annoys me so much about these universal executions is where they put away their weapon and take out an identical weapon from the other side of their. Like, it's like, come yeah. on, guys, just, just use your own one instead of a magical sword you've got hiding in your butthole somewhere. Anyway, um,. On that note, that's probably a good time to end it. Um, yeah, butthole swords. And we've actually almost made the full two hours. Wow. Thanks, Stag, for telling us to go <laughs> and do the best ones per character. <laughs> this took like uh, 30 minutes, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, no worries. Um, I hope you guys learned something. I hope it wasn't too too dull. It was even last bit, we just went through a list. Um, I definitely think it... There's a there's a more than you expect with executions. I know that the Ubisoft have a tendency to like just think of them as cosmetic content, but they aren't really. There's a lot of gameplay that goes into executions. So yeah. Keep try and keep that in mind when you're picking one because yeah, you can't always afford the coolest ones because there's so many of them. And trying to get a good try to get like a one fast one, one fast fifty health one uh, is basically the takeaway from this. Um, and then one super long one for, for for three for three, and then I guess the fourth one can be the coolest one that you like the most. Um, yeah, that's uh, sorry. I guess we didn't. You're right. We didn't actually cover that gem heart. I mean, we we kind of yeah, touched we upon it, but um, we didn't like explicitly point it out. But you know, if you start executing somebody before you're breaking, before they're breaking, and you finish the execution uh, after they start breaking, they won't respawn. So. That's something actually super valuable. I don't know what it's a, it's a very common tactic. You get a kill on somebody at like nine hundred and eighty points. You pull out a really long execution, just on the off chance you'll boost enough to get a thousand points and stop them from um, getting a respawn. So, thank you for mentioning that, Gem Heart. We should have mentioned that earlier on because that's actually probably one of the most important. Of, when you're killing somebody, you kill someone and capping the point that they were on gives you uh, puts you into breaking or puts them into breaking. Yeah. So that's it's always a good idea to execute somebody if um, 
you uh yeah if you're it's about to be breaking so go for that and you asked sorry I, I just looking at the isn't hasn't the dragon palm been banned in comp no the only ones that are banned are it's ones that are time limited so because and, uh, ex events. and event executions yeah because the thought is the thinking is that well anybody can get any of the other ones um it's just not fair if you have to you ha only can have a competitive edge if you only were playing like back in halloween 2019 or whatever it was um so yeah, I think that's everything from that I've wanted to talk about. Thank you much everyone, for joining. Um I just managed to get two hours on that. <laughs> yeah, Thanks for course. sitting sitting through it, everybody. Um yeah, have a good evening. Thank you very much, Normie. And I'm gonna say goodbye and go and have some food because I'm really hungry. All right. Goodbye. Bye.